Good afternoon class, this is teacher OJ Manuel, and for today's lesson, we will gonna be discussing about the changes in solid materials when they are hammered or cut. This is your lesson 3 and lesson 4 in your module 2 for week 3. In this module, you're going to describe the changes in solid materials when they are hammered or cut. The scope of this module permits it to be used in many different learning situations. Now, this composed of following lessons. Lesson 3, what happens to solid materials when hammered? And lesson 4, what happens to solid materials when cut? Now, after going through this module, you are expected to learn the following. First, describe what happens to solid materials when hammered. Next is describe what happens to solid materials when cut. Differentiate changes in materials when hammered or cut. Demonstrate how materials may undergo change by hammering and cutting. Group materials based on their ability to be hammered and cut. And lastly, we're going to make an artwork using press and cut materials. Before you proceed to your lesson 3, what you need to do now is to answer what I know. This one is a 10 items multiple choice about the lesson. You're going to choose only the letter of the best answer and use a separate sheet of paper for your answers. If you have now your module, you can answer directly on your module. But if you don't have your module, you can answer it in a separate sheet of paper. Number 1. All these solid materials can be hammered except 1. A. Candy wrapper B. Nail C. Porcelain D. Block of wood Number 2. Who among them uses a hammer in their field of work? A. An engineer B. A soldier C. A carpenter D. A painter Number 3. What happens to an empty can when hammered? A. Change its size and shape B. New material is formed. C. It becomes liquid. D. The physical appearance is not changed. Number 4. Which of the following is true about cutting? A. When the solid material is cut, new material is formed. B. All solid materials can be cut using pair of scissors. C. When solid materials is cut, it changes its size and shape. D. When the material is cut, its properties will not change. Number 5. What happens to a charcoal when hammered? A. A new material was formed when a charcoal is hammered. B. No new material was formed when a charcoal is hammered. C. The charcoal did not change when hammered. D. The charcoal burned when hammered. Number 6. Your assignment is to create different shapes using colored paper. Which of the following will you use? A. Hammer B. Flat iron C. Pair of scissor D. Ruler Number 7. What happens to a solid material when cut or hammered? A. Changes its shape B. Changes its size C. Changes its color D. Changes its size and shape Number 8. Which of the following materials can be cut using an ordinary pair of scissors? A. Paper B. Rock C. Brick D. Metal Number 9. Materials that can be hammered into shapes are said to be blank. A. Malleable B. Elastic C. Flexible D. Ductile Last number, number 10. In which industry does the cutting of solid materials useful? A. Restaurant B. Farming C. Tailoring D. Fishing Now, let us now talk about what happens to solid materials when hammered. A solid is a state of matter characterized by particles arranged such that their shape and volume are relatively stable. But solid can be changed through many ways. So in this lesson, you're going to discover the other ways that would change the size, shape, texture, color, and characteristics or properties of a solid materials. 
for your first activity, you're going only to encircle the materials from the box that can be pressed. So which of the following materials written inside the box are the one that can be pressed? Stone, tin can, clay, piece of wood, cloth, plastic bottle, glass, dough, metal, ice. You can now encircle the materials from the box that can be pressed. For the next one in letter B, you're going also to encircle the materials from the box that can be bent. Hair clip, stone, wooden chair, rubber slippers, metal spoon, cooking pan, plastic straw, bitter stick, wire, plastic ruler. You can now encircle the materials from the box that can be bent. In what's new, you're going to do now is to illustrate or draw a hammer, then describe its uses. You're going to draw a hammer, what it looks like, and then you're going to write your answers here. You are expected to write 5 uses of a hammer. In letter B, you are going to perform the given activity and follow the procedures. Take extra precautions when handling the materials. So in this activity, you are going to explore what happens to solid materials when hammering. So what you need, uh, what, uh, so here are the materials that you need in this activity. We have a block of wood, chalk, plastic bottle, empty tin can, or lata, plastic bottle, and hammer. So before you do the activity, please be careful in handling the materials and do not play with the materials. Safety first is the most important. Okay, number one, hammer each of the following given materials and observe what happens. So you are going to hammer the following materials. And number two, you are going to record your observations in your answer sheet using the table below. So you can see here a table which has two columns and on the first column is your material and on the second column is your observation. So you're going to write your observations in your second column. For example, block of wood. After hammering the block of wood, what do you think happened in the wood? So you need to write your observations here. You're going also to write your observations to the remaining materials, empty tin can, plastic bottle, and a piece of chalk. After writing your observations, you're going to answer now the guide questions. The first question is, what happened to the solid materials when they are hammered? Number two, was there a new material form when solid materials was hammered? Number three, you're going also to explain the changes each material underwent as hammering was applied. Now, in this lesson, what you need to remember that a hammer is a hand tool usually consists of a solid head held on the end of a handle. It is used for beating, striking, or pounding materials or objects. The solid materials can be hammered, and when hammered, these materials may change their size and shape and even the texture. However, no new material is formed because only the physical appearance of the material is changed. Malleable materials are the materials that can be hammered and formed into shapes. Examples are gold and silver which are made individually. We have a physical properties of matter we call as malleability and malleability is the ability of the material that can be hammered. Now, what's more? In this activity, you're going to put a check mark before the number of the material that may easily break when hammered and put an X mark if it is not. Capitalism first on your answer sheet. Number 1, we have the plastic bottle. 2, block of wood. 3, steel bar. 4, metal spoon. 5, nail. 6, bar of gold. 7, rubber slippers. 8, 
glass, 9, hollow block, and 10, cans. Or lata. And in letter B, you're going to describe the changes of the following materials when hovering. So you're going to write your expected observations on the blank provided. Number 1, coins. Number 2, steel bar. Number 3, pile of bricks. Number 4, box. And number 5, gold bar. In letter C, you're going to complete the paragraph. A solid material, when hammered, change its blank, blank, and blank. There is no blank material is formed. Only the blank appearance of the material change. And in letter D, you're going to enumerate five solid materials that can be hammered and describe their changes. So write five materials that can be hammered and write their changes when they are hammered. And that ends our lesson 3. Now, let us discuss the lesson 4. Lesson 4 is what happens to solid materials when cut. So in this activity, we are going to discover the other ways that would change the size, the shape, the texture, color, and characteristics or properties of solid materials. Now, let's find out. Let us now discuss the lesson 4. The lesson 4 is about what happens to the materials when they are cut. So first of all, you need to perform the given activity and follow the procedures of the activity properly. You're going also to take extra precautions when handling the materials. Now, you're going to describe what happens to the solid materials when they are cut. So in this activity, what you need is to use any kind of paper, small cardboard or any carton, use cloth, pair of scissors, two pieces of can candy wrapper, and also leaves. So what to do? You're going uh, to use uh, a pair of scissors to cut each of the given materials. You're going to observe what happens to the materials. And secondly, you're going to record your observations in your answer sheet using the table below. So in this column, on the second column, what happened to the materials when cut? You're going to write your observations here. On the first column, you have your materials, a piece of paper, piece of cardboard, leaves, and a piece of cloth. After writing your observations, you're going to answer the following guide questions. Number one, describe what happens to the solid materials when they are cut. Number two, was there a new material form when the solid material was cut? In this lesson, always remember that solid materials can be cut. When cut, these materials may change their size and shape, but no new material is formed. Hence, only the physical appearance of a solid material is changed when cut. Not all solid materials can be cut using simple scissors. Some solid materials like iron, steel, can be cut using sophisticated cutters like metal cutters or machine cutters. What's more? So in this one, in this activity, what you need to do is what do you think will happen to the following materials when cut? So write your answers here. We have five examples of materials that can be cut. Number one, paper. Number two, handkerchief. Three, notebook. Four, plastic cover. Five, candy wrapper. Now, write your answers on the blank provided. On the next activity, what you're going to do is to choose the material that can be cut easily using a pair of scissors. Put a check mark before the number if the material can be cut easily using a pair of scissors. But if it is not, put a cross mark. Number one, colored paper. Number two, cloth. Number three, window glass. Number four, plastic cover. And number five, metal sheet. Let us now move forward to the next discussion. What have I learned? We are going to express what have you learned in the given lessons by providing an answer to the following questions below. Number one, a hammer is used to blank. 
write your answers. Number two, what are the different ways in which solid materials can change? Number three, what are the changes in solid materials when bent, pressed, hammered, and cocked? Number four, you're going to describe what happens to solid materials when hammered. And lastly, number five, you're going to describe what happens to solid materials when cocked. On the next part of your module, what can I do? You're going to do is to identify activities at home where the following equations are applied by filling out the graphic organizers below. So for example, we have here situations or activities showing solid materials are being hammered. You're going to write your answers inside the circles provided. So what you're going to write is the situation or activity that shows solid materials being hammered. And next one, situations or activities showing materials or showing solid materials are being cut. So write your answers on the boxes. Lastly, you need to answer the assessment part. So what you need to do is to encircle the letter of the correct answer. Number one, what physical change took place to the materials when hammering? A. Change in odor. B. Change in shape. C. Change in color. D. Change in weight. Number two, which of the following materials cannot be hammered? A. Steel bar. B. Nails. C. Plastic cover. D. Bar of gold. Number three, it is usually used by the carpenter when beating and striking. A. Pair of scissors. B. Wood. C. Machine. D. Hammer. Number four, what will you do to change the size and shape of the paper? Use a blank. A. Hammer. B. Machine. C. Pair of scissor. D. Stone. Number five, which of the following materials can be cut using a pair of scissor? A. Hollow blocks. B. Cloth. C. Wood. D. Metal. Number six, a piece of cloth leaves paper, plastic cover, or materials that can be blank. A. Hammered. B. Bend. C. Press. D. Cut. Number 7. Which of the following is true about cutting? A. When a solid material is cut, new material is formed. B. A. All solid materials can be cut using scissors. C. When solid material is cut, it changes its size and shape. D. When the material is cut, its properties will not change. On the next part, you're going to write H before the number if the material can be easily hammered. Write letter C if can easily be cut. Letter P if it uh, if can easily be pressed. And B if can easily be bent. We have nail, cloth, hair, tin can, plastic cup, aluminum, plastic rubber, hollow blocks, modeling clay, and steel bar. For your additional activities, you're going to make an artwork using materials that can easily be bent, pressed, cut, and hammered. You may refer to the following suggested materials in making your artwork. So, suggested materials to be used, choose one only. And also, this is your art rubric for self-assessment. And that ends our lesson 4. I hope you had fun learning and see you again on the next module.